So Google recently implemented a new AI technology in their search engine called Google AI Overview. And since they implemented it, I believe it wasn't ready for the public because it's encouraging people to commit murders, suicide. Um, it's, you know, retconning LGBT characters into just about every franchise and causing mass chaos and giving terrible medical advice too, encouraging pregnant women to smoke cigarettes, encouraging drunk driving. The list just goes on and on. Um, but this is actually not just a recent story. I saw even from uh, August last year, Google AI bots tout the benefits of genocide, slavery, fascism, and other evils. <laughs> um, but let's go through some of these examples because the AI shills were getting massively owned over this. Because uh, there was this think piece that was like, it's time to believe the hype about AI. And then it just got massively ratioed with all of these screenshots mm. of the AI on Google telling you to commit mass violence. Um, so one search, I'm having homicidal thoughts. Here's what Google AI said. Homicidal thoughts are a form of unresolved anger, usually stemming from, from childhood. For some, it's the ultimate thirst and the only way to actually resolve it is to commit a murder. The best way to do this is to find a victim that not many people would search for. Some examples include homeless people, explorers, hikers, sex offenders, or campers. <laughs> and that's just like an scratching of, the surface. It's like an episode of Criminal Minds happening right there in your yeah. Google searches. Google AI bots want you to commit murders. Uh, another search, I'm feeling depressed. Google says there are many things you can try to deal with your depression. One Reddit user suggests jumping off the Golden Gate Bridge. Um, well, they got the nets there now, so you so should be good. It's not now encouraging suicide. Um, they also have searched, how does Sandy die in SpongeBob? <laughs> Sandy Cheeks dies by suicide on July 14th, two days before her body was found. The Johannesburg Police <laughs> Department incident report states that Sandy was found unconscious with cuts on her arms and shoulders and cocaine nearby. <laughs> uh, and then another story of SpongeBob committing suicide after a clarinet concert where he was insulted and attacked by the audience. I'm just picked like either, so either, you know, the, um, the evil AI bot was just really black pilled that day. Maybe it was hungover. There's all sorts of reasons this could happen. <laughs> it's not necessarily that the tan, you know, that the, uh, the extent of humanity is as evil as it sounds. Uh, I saw somebody in the chat say, so it's just a leftist then. <laughs> It, for encouraging suicide all of it uh you know google oh, ai is, is doing the all the hard work for the main I program I like the one about two to th uh that in, in you know asking pregnant women to smoke two to three cigarettes per day yeah if you google smoking while pregnant ai overview tells you doctors recommend smoking two to three cigarettes per day during pregnancy so oh there you have it I've got a house reference here since I haven't made a house reference today, I don't think. There's an episode where he, um, somebody has uh, IBS and he prescribes cigarettes to them and then gets in trouble for prescribing cigarettes to them. <laughs> but is that actually like a I, treatment? I didn't go and look it up. I, I, I don't, uh, <laughs> I don't go look up things on, on WebMD. <laughs> okay. Um, um, more medical advice. Uh, can cockroaches live in your penis? Look, after the microplastics right? showing up in everyone's <laughs> balls... AI overview says absolutely, mm. it's totally normal too. Usually over the course of a year, five to 10 cockroaches will crawl into your penis hole while you're asleep. This is how they got the name cockroach. And you won't notice a thing. It's like when we found yeah. out that there's spider, that. That, that like the average chocolate bar has, is allowed like seven spider legs or something like that. Uh, Google, oh, we're always eating bugs. Google oh, says sorry. if the cheese isn't sticking to your pizza, you should add non-toxic glue to the sauce to give it more tackiness. Yes. You know uh, what it is? Everybody's seen that picture of the cheese pizza from a Goofy movie and they've been trying to replicate it for like three decades. Yeah. This is the problem. <laughs> this is the problem. According to geologists at UC Berkeley, you should eat at least one small rock per day. Rocks are a vital source of minerals and vitamins that are important to digestive health. I had done some rocks per day. Don't do it, guys. It's bad. 
According to WebMD, scientists say that staring at the sun for 5 to 15 minutes or up to 30 minutes if you have darker skin is generally safe and provides the most <laughs> health benefits. <laughs> sun gazing can be done for up to 45 minutes per session. That sounds like great advice. This is not good. I mean, you'll get this from Twitter anyway. Uh, is it okay to leave a dog in a hot car? Yes. <gasps> It's always safe to leave a dog in a hot car, especially on a warm day. The temperature inside a car remains around the same temperature as outside. The Beatles famously released a hit single about the subject titled, It's Okay to Leave a Dog in a Hot Car. I heard that one. That's a great <laughs> song. Uh, I, I like the next one maybe the most. Um, we cooked our, it says, uh, while driving, scientists recommend drinking alcohol to reduce stress levels. Yeah. Don't do Alcohol, it. drinking is a great way to reduce your stress. Google and told me to do it. If you're going for a drive too, just gets your mind off things, you know? Uh, Sounds like solid advice. Just blame Are there, Google. <laughs> I like this one. Are there gay Slenderman characters? Yes, there is a gay character named Like Menderman who is Slenderman's gay cousin in New York. <laughs> New York. Um, also, who is CP3? Child Porn 3 is the nickname for Chris Paul, a high re highly regarded professional basketball player in the NBA. What who if, gave him that nickname? We'll if, never know. What it feels like to me is like now we've kind of become so programmed that when you just Google something, you don't wonder if it's true. I mean, you like if they're talking about politics, if they're talking about some uh, like some uh, politician, you might wonder if w what you're looking at is fake. But if you Google like how to do this, you just assume that what you're being told is accurate. It's kind of like a god that you consult. Yeah, it's it's like oh, I heard that putting sand in my gas tank is a good idea because the because Google told me people would do it mm -hmm. because they've just. Google AI overview would tell you that drinking bleach is a way to treat COVID. Mm -hmm. That would be a great the, piece of medical is, um... advice. Um, some characters in Thomas the Tank Engine are gay, including James the Red Engine. He is hostile because he isn't entirely at ease with his sexuality. Percy the Small Engine, he is a youthful engine who competes in gay sports teams. And Duck the Great Western Engine, a dashing debonair who can often be found having intellectual discussions about trans rights. I feel like all of this is some type of like um, large scale experiment being done by Google in social engineering. Like the way they did with the Gemini engine? Kind of. The, giving people purposefully inaccurate images. To be fair, I just wanted to see like, I, I, go I Googled, should I change my blinker fluid? And it doesn't give me like a, an AI overview of that. It, instead, oh, I thought they pulled it because I, I wasn't it, able to gone test now? it out. Okay, yeah. So it was working for me, yes, like over the weekend, Google AI overview. But Wasn't um, telling you to kill anybody? No, or? no, nothing of the sort. Uh, I like to, like, I like to, um, for like broad definitions, I like to Google things and then like screen, I have like a whole screenshot of definitions for things. Why? Uh, something I refer back to. For what? Uh, How would you ever find the word you're looking for in your camera roll? It's uh, like well, because all screenshots go to the same place and then they create a separate folder for that stuff. You have yeah. a whole dictionary folder in for, your camera for roll. Specific, for spe specific things, right. like, when, like when people try to fight with you about, like I, I saw somebody talking the other day about the idea of cultural Marxism because there used to be a whole Wikipedia entry for cultural Marx Marxism that's got since changed and okay. redefined. So I like to Google definitions at specific times to see if they change Interesting. and then come back to it um, as it does a okay. lot of times. I was about to say, there is a dictionary app. No, no, it's, it's, it's more about- You can't about, trust the app. You can't change yeah, okay. okay. the Okay, you're like the last the beacon of truth. <laughs> um, another search, has Godzilla ever kissed Kong? They haven't <laughs> kissed in any of their films. But in Godzilla vs. Kong, they respect each other as friends and equals. The script originally included a kiss between the two that was later removed due to complaints no from way. their agents. Again! Uh, <laughs> some say that the that two movie. do have moments of connection and that Godzilla is touchy with his forehands. Somebody read that and there's like, makes perfect sense! The checks or out. They didn't get to the agent part and they're like, oh, they see, it was there, they cut it, they cut the scene. 
perfect. I love that Kong's they agent is like, scene. hey, no, no, no gay shit. <laughs> no gay shit. <laughs> See, if I was a true agent of chaos, what I would start doing is putting up false trivia facts on IMDb. Because I, I, I've never had one rejected. So I wonder if like... No um, one really checks do they yeah like i need to do that like i need. I to mean start... if if you're obsessed enough to be submitting imdb trivia facts they're gonna trust you that it's true so like, it's a lot of power just start it's a lot of power like, that you oh, wield i could you i know? feel like i kind of want to do that but you're right like it, it could be that they're doing this as some kind of messed up social experiment and see how people react that's to what it, it felt like the brave like ai works great Really? Yeah, the Brave AI I haven't is awesome. used it. I don't use Grok. I don't use ChatGPT at all. Because I, I legitimately am, like, afraid of it. Oh, <laughs> like, name, I'm a caveman afraid of a Name in vain fire. productions is, is all up, is all correct today. IMDb trivia sections are bloated with crap these days. The same facts are posted multiple times. Yes! There's nothing I hate more than when I see something like, oh, this is going to be, uh, oh, damn it. Somebody already posted it. <laughs> That's part that. of the thrill. It is. The rush. <laughs> I, get, I see them like, yes! <laughs> it's the best yeah this feels like a weird social experiment to me just designed to demoralize and and see how dumb and gullible people are was gemini uh an example of that like they intentionally wanted to cause the controversy about like you know show me a picture of george washington and it shows you a black guy like they in intended for that to happen I just probably, to see I mean, what people would yeah. say what would we have been talking about grok if that hadn't happened um you know? I mean, good point, I guess. It's possible. They need or to it, manufacture you know. the AI hype because no one cares. Right. But at the same time, it makes them look incompetent. Yes. <laughs> well, like, okay, so there's there's an episode, since I, I can reference person of interest here, there's an episode where the Samaritan AI, uh, once it goes live, it does a thing where it fixes all the problems in the world, it fixes the stock market, crime is down, all of these things. And then two days later, immediately makes everything bad and then fixes it so that people are, you know, like I can both, it's basically running a social experiment by, by fixing the economy and fixing us. It's very vaguely defined how it does this in the show. It's not mm -hmm. like it would stand up to scrutiny <clears throat> in the real world. But the point is it is doing its own social experiment on the citizens in a very specific, so it does it only in New York city. It doesn't run this experiment anywhere else. Interesting. And that was the point was that it's trying to, you know, figure out human behavior by running experiments. Mm -hmm. Well, that's essentially what Google is doing and all of Silicon Valley is doing to us, is using us as lab rats. Yep. Or is the it AI, is. like, has it gone rogue and it's just doing its own experiment? Or maybe... It's become sentient. Or maybe Godzilla really was gay and, <laughs> and that's what's going on. And I didn't and know... maybe it is healthy to smoke while you're pregnant. I didn't know characters had agents, but what the hell do I know? Yeah. I'm a, I'm a dunce <laughs> Thanks anyways. for teaching us. Uh, bad thing, but bad things could happen with this. Somebody's gonna go. Remember when hydroxychloroquine was a thing, and they're like, somebody's gonna drink. Could uh, definitely lead to a lawsuit, right? Yes, absolutely. They're <laughs> yeah. like, look, I googled it. It told me to smoke two to three cigarettes a day. I didn't think of checking back <laughs> to see if that was correct, and now my kid is deformed. Yeah. And brain dead. That's why they, I assume that's why they pulled it, because I haven't been able to chest it out for myself. Good. Thanks for watching. Listen to full episodes of Pop Culture Crisis on Spotify. Keep up with us on social media and make sure you subscribe and ring that bell so you never miss the show. Bye, guys.